James, why don't you think about something or someone else for a change? You'll be surprised at how much better you'll feel if you do. Oh, please. Being important is the only thing for me to think about. You must behave here. You're on the main line now. Actually, Gordon, giggled Ben, when we saw you, we thought this was the scrapyard. Pah! You're late. That smell is making me ill. It's the fish, replied Thomas, and there's danger on the rails. That's why we're late. Never mind, James, whispered Toby. They're only joking. Ha ha! Oh dear, my system is out of order. No one understands my case. You don't know what I suffer, moaned Henry. Rubbish, said Thomas. You're too fat. You need exercise. Stop fooling, said Duck. I'm tired. So are we, hissed the engines. We are tired of you. Rubbish, Percy, said Henry. Engines don't wear scarves. Engines with proper funnels do. Why are you complaining all the time? Because I'm a big blue engine and I know everything. I shall complain whenever I want. You're so handle, I suppose. And you, I suppose, are George? Yes, I've heard of you. And I've heard of you. You swank around with your steamroller wheels, pretending you're as good as me. Actually, I'm better. Did you lose your way, Gordon? No, it was lost for me. I was switched off the main line onto the loop. I had to go all round and back again. Perhaps it was instinct. I heard tell about an engine and some tar wagons. Shut up, said James. It's not funny. Now wheesh and let an engine sleep. Quack yourself. I hope he doesn't hurt his passengers. What's that about me? I'm a plane engine, and I believe in plane speaking. Speak up! Really reliable, that's me, panted James. Pity the same can't be said for Percy. No, well, Duncan, I'm asleep.